I think it's it always existed, but I think for uh, uh, decades, companies thought that they can uh, get away with the change projects. Unfortunately, change projects then don't, don't touch uh, the fundamental roots um, of uh, certain ills uh, that we try to address. Uh, transformation means uh, trans dash formation, changing the form, organizational form of the company. Unless we don't touch this issue and the change project usually doesn't touch it, um, we don't get the results. And so today probably in our VUCA world, um, the simple change projects are not enough. I think there's one biggest barrier. It's uh, the CEO's ego. Uh, I think that the true transformation can only succeed if it's based on creating an environment uh, that uh, allows freedom, trust and responsibility for everyone. The CEO that has an inflated ego thinks himself as being the most intelligent person in the company. And therefore, all the efforts to convince his employees or her employees that they are intelligent will fail. And the problem is ego. I have never seen a successful transformation without its CEO having transformed himself or herself first through some of them they need that because they were humble to begin with. But most of the CEOs worked with their coaches and some, in extreme cases, with psychoanalysts. I think the key issue is how do we select the leaders, the in large corporation, the business unit CEOs who can be this type of servant leaders who can carry uh, this type of projects that require transformational leadership. Um, that means uh, that they don't see themselves as being in charge of running the operations in their companies, but being able to launch the transformation that will create an environment where people will take care of running the business. Uh, for the last uh, 10 years, um, first I carried the research that I published in 2009 in my book that's called uh, Freedom Inc., Freedom Incorporated, several articles, and uh, that's after maybe three, four years, uh, caught up in uh, a larger, larger amount uh, of corporations and businesses and so I was uh, instrumental with uh, several of my uh, colleagues who became friends and CEOs essentially of the companies that launched their own transformations that we call liberations um, into creating an ecosystem for uh, helping or assisting in a um, certain way um, mostly pro bono, uh, the CEOs who want to do it by themselves and he feel a little bit lonely, I would say, in these radical efforts. And um, since uh, the last, uh, I would say, five years, I work on another topic that's called the altruistic corporation. And uh, that culminated also in the, in the book, uh, which has been published one month ago.